Hello all. This is a follow-up uh, to the last video on uh, GNOME or GNOME 3.10 in Arch Linux. Uh, I thought I'd just go through this in uh, a virtual box uh, just to uh, make sure everything's straight on uh, how you would go about this. So I'm in the uh, a user prompt. Okay, so I'm not as root, so I have to use sudo for everything. Okay, so first of all, we have to edit our uh, pac pacman config file. So sudo, I have no uh, desktop environment, so it's sudo nano etsy pacman dot c o n f. And we'll just page down. Um, I am using the uh, 64 bit, so I uncommented multi lib. But uh, we'll go back up and you see where it says uh, testing where the cursor is flash flashing. Uh, press enter a couple of times here and then arrow up, and then in square brackets, you type in gnome dash unstable. And I just uh, take one of these instead of typing it out. Alt 6 to copy it and go back under GNOME Unstable and press Control U to paste it in. Make sure it's above everything in the repositories, okay? And then uh, press Control X and yes to save it. And should come back with the repository um, being found. So it's Pacman sudo Pacman dash S Y Y. And you see here at the top, synchronizing GNOME Unstable 92.9 kilobytes. All right. So after that, it's just a matter of typing in sudo pacman dash s, capital S, GNOME. Enter. And for me, it's libgl. And uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of things here, but you can see. Well, maybe you can't. I should zoom in a bit. GNOME shell extensions 3.10. Most of them are 3.10. Some of them aren't quite updated yet. So it's uh, 263.64 megabytes and 13 in, uh, gigs or so. I mean, 1.3 gigs when installed. So, yes. And uh, I'll let that run. And then uh, we'll do a couple of other things. Yeah, I thought I'd mention you'll see some uh, strange errors and stuff while this is installing. Um, uh, don't worry too much. Uh, there is a fix uh, for uh, some of those errors. Okay. Okay. So uh, the basic GNOME base uh, 3.10 is uh, downloaded and installed. So I'll clear this uh, clear the screen here, and I'll do a list out. And uh, and here I don't have an X in it. If you don't, uh, just do uh, cp slash etc slash sk, oops, skel, sorry, should zoom in, uh, dot x in it, rc, and then a space, and the same thing, dot x in it, rc. And we'll list out again in our home directory. And you see it's there at the end. So just nano x in it rc. And we'll just uncomment exec gnome dash session. And uh, x yes and exit. Now usually uh, what I did before was I open another terminal. So in uh, VirtualBox it's the right control key and F2. And I'll log in as root. And back to the first terminal, and we'll try start X. No guarantees it's going to work though. Okay, so we have a black screen. So go to root, and uh, we'll check for updates. I'll update the mirrors again, and Pacman does SYU just for the. See, there's a glib 
update. This is what happened before when I tried to run this. So um, from here, I just do a reboot. Okay, so after a reboot, we can try that again. Start X. All right, there we go um, with the uh, GNOME shell or GNOME 3.10 desktop. Now, uh, there's a lot of things missing. I think if you go to Nautilus, icons are missing. This, this is part of the error messages that we saw, but uh, we can fix that as well. Okay, um, I open the terminal, and uh, to fix this, uh, we have to type this uh, command in. I'll put this in the, des the description. It's too long to try to type out yourself. You just copy and paste if you can. If not, then I guess you have to type it out. So press enter. Oops, I'm um, sorry. Sudo, and then that. Okay. And uh, from here, I'll just do a quick reboot. So sudo reboot, and uh, we should see our icons. All right. So after a reboot, uh, obviously everything is uh, not everything, but uh, most of uh, the icons are fixed because now we have a desktop wallpaper. You go to activities. You open uh, Nautilus. You should see the uh, menu buttons back so it's just that command and uh, that's pretty much all you have to do uh, be careful GDM it on my main system it works uh, you can try enabling it but um, for a while trust just try try it with the uh, start acts and try um, check for updates periodically and then maybe try it out but that's all I did to install uh, gnome um, um, unstable from uh, Arch Linux Okay, so hopefully that helps you out if you want to try this out. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.